Let's talk about class inheritance and composition in C++. So first of all, inheritance is when you have one class that is a specific type of another class. So there's an is a relationship. So class inheritance that is an is a relationship. Now with class composition, comp, that is a has a relationship. Okay, so let's think about animals. If I were to create a class animal, well, any animal has some things, right? So all animals have a name. So let's do a name here. And there are different kinds of animals. So let's create a class mammal. And a mammal, you do this colon, and I'm going to use a public to take everything I can public, is an animal. So now I have created an inheritance relationship where mammal is a, or is an animal. And I can add some new attributes here, or I can just leave it alone. Also, I could say class dog is a mammal. And maybe dogs have other attributes in addition to what a mammal normally has. So let's go ahead and create some new new classes. Let's say that we have a class leg. And let's say the leg has a public variable, let's say length. So it has some length. And I can create another class, class wing. So maybe some animals have wings. And that might also have a public uh, int length. So then you start saying, well, dogs have legs, right? So if you wanted to add a leg object to the dog, you'd say, well, is it inheriting that? Does it, is a dog a leg? No, a dog is not a leg. Does it have a leg? Yes, a dog has a leg. So we can do composition here. So I can say there is a leg and it, this one is a front left leg and maybe it's got another leg for a front right leg and maybe it's got a back left leg and maybe it has a back right leg so in this situation a dog is a mammal so it inherits inherits from mammal and it has legs different legs so it's got these four different legs and so this is composition for the legs and inheritance for the mammal we could then take it a little further and say well what about a bird well a bird bird is a bird inherits from what well maybe a bird isn't uh, an animal so bird is an animal but it's not a mammal and a bird might have legs most birds have legs right so it has a right leg and it has a left leg but it might also have a wing so a right wing and it might have a wing left 
wing. So the leg and the wings are composition, and then its relationship with animal is inheritance. So then you can go down here, and you can refer to individual pieces of these things. So I'll create a bird and a dog. So I got dog, dog one, and I got bird, bird one. So dog or dog one name equals let's do spot and bird one's name equals um let's call it robin so you can see how because through inheritance these objects are passed down and they are directly accessible and addressable inside of these objects. So name is directly inside of dog and name is directly inside of bird. However, with composition, you have an actual class inside of it. So dog one dot um, front left leg also has an attribute length and you can see how there's this a dotted notation to get all the way down into the individual piece and the length is maybe one whatever that means and bird the same thing you've got this uh left wing length and that might equal one so this is how you address and use and the difference between inheritance and composition in C++ classes.